Well, hey there, everybody. How y'all doing? Thanks for coming back as always. I appreciate it. Really hope you're having a wonderful day or night. And welcome back to my channel, as always, in the Lux. All right, let's do another transformer review. Yeah. Today I'll take a look at, today I'll be taking a look at Earthrise War for Cybertron Snapdragon Triple Changer. Ooh. Beautiful artwork as always. That's very nice. I like that. In the back, got some product shots right there. Pretty cool. He's a triple changer, turns into a jet in a dragon. Hence the name Snapdragon. There's the same thing. Blah, blah, blah. All right. Awesome, it's awesome. So let's just get to the review, like always. Yeah. So there he is. There's Snapdragon in his uh, dragon mode. He also was a, uh, he's a triple changer, and he is also a headmaster. And his headmaster name is Crunk, which I don't think they named it on the box or anything like that, but... Look it up, and that's that's what his headmaster's name was. So we'll take a look at him in a little bit. He is the jaw and everything, the mouth and everything. So we'll take a look what he comes with. He just comes with two guns. Nice purple plastic. Some detail sculpt work in there. No paint. Nothing like that. But you get two of those. And that is it. He comes with instructions and all that stuff. But anyways. But hey, let's take a look at this fella. Ooh. Grr. Grr. Really nice. I like it. Pretty cool. All right. Nice Septicon symbols. I like that. There's his tail. He's long and strong. About to get a friction on tail. All right, let's take a look at his articulation real quick. So he does have some nice, uh, well, there's no eyes in there. No <laughs> I thought there was paint. Huh. There's no paint in them. They're just a, it's just a hole. Hmm. Black as your soul. Yeah. But he does have some nice pink paint right here. And the pink right there for crunk it does open up Arr, pretty wide if you want to have it kind of got an underbite a little bit not much of one but a little bit uh, head can go up well this neck can go up and down and his head can go also up as well no side to side movement would have been pretty cool if they would have done that but eh, it's fine his arms they go do they do go up and down and then he's got a ball joint right here for the you know for the Oh, those are the little teeny tiny arms, teeny tiny arms. Uh, they are uh, kind of a, thought that might be paint, but it's not. It's just plastic, aqua kind of color right there. It does have some waffles, but you can move them side to side. All that stuff on the ball joint. You got some nice purple paint. You got the nice uh, Decepticon symbol right there. And now it's got some turquoise down there. Moving on down to the legs. Now you can have a little bit right there. If you move them back, they do got a little bit more like that. So you can go all the way around and go up to there like that. You've got a knee bend right there and back as well. So pretty cool. Uh, toe tilt up. And that's about it. Nothing down. Nothing. Uh, no uh, rock or anything like that. Same with that side as well. Move on back. Nice steps kind of symbols like I said. Mm. That's painted right here. The turquoise is painted right there. This tail can move up and down like this. That's about it. You got a little movement right there, but it kind of tabs. Supposed to be tabbed in, so then you got a little movement right there. So that's pretty cool. That's really it about the dragon mode. Not bad at all. Not ba oh, yeah, you can put the uh, guns up here. And he yeah, does have a porch right there and right there. So you can add on uh, some Battle Master if you want to do that as well. So there you go. That is the articulation of the dragon mode. Crapagonics, a bottle of water is in crappy toilet paper. Scale. So let's transform him into his jet mode. He is a triple changer, so why not? Take the guns off. You're gonna take out Crunk, his little headmaster. And take that out. There's a little hole right in there. And his little head will fit in there. Let's take a look at him real quick. Nicely done. Got some tons of paint. Nice purple and pink eyes. And you got the pink arms are painted as well. Now they do uh are pegged into right there, we'll peg in right there, and then well, so the arms are painted, the legs are painted. You can do the ab crunch, the little feet up. So not much to them. And then there's the head, and I'll show you that a little bit. Take them out right there. So what you want to do is you want to fold this up right here, go underneath right here, like that. Do the other side. Open this right here. Fold that in. Fold that in. There you go. 
Take that. You want to untap this right here. And then first, uh, so first you want to fold these feet in. Like that. And then move these around. Put this down like that. Move that nose cone in. Snap that together. Now you want to take this right here. It's going to tab into there like that. On the other end, it's already been tabbed already. So then you take this tab right here. It's going to tab in right there. And do the same on that side. Flip out the wings. Get this straight up. So basically that's how you transform them right there. I'm going to clean them up a little bit. I'll be right back. All right, clean them up a little bit, and this is what it looks like. And I really, really like the jet mode. Really nice. Love that translucent yellow out there right here. Very nice. done. got the turquoise up here as well, painted. Got the guns underneath. He does have a little landing gear right there. Pretty cool. Cool thing is you can open this, and it's pretty cool. I've never really, you know, most of the time they just open up, you know, like, you know, up and everything but this one has two little sides to it it's got some nice details in there too they're painting in there they didn't have to do that but they did so you put a little man in here and he can catch a ride that's awesome got the purple and the purple decepticon symbol underneath yeah you can tell the legs are out there and everything but it looks pretty good you can move that up so they're nicely done. I like this mold. I think it's really cool. You do have the uh, guns you can put up there. Uh, you do have a little, like I said, port right there. You have a port right there if you want to put some Battle Masters or anything like that. It's your toy. Do whatever you want with it. So there you go. There he is in his uh, spaceship mode. Snapdragon. Crapagonics, a bottle of water, and some crappy toilet paper. Scale. All right, let's transform into bot mode. His third mode. Take these guns off. What you want to do is you want to untab these right here like that. And you want to take this part right here, move it all the way up. And now see there's this little little tab right here. You're going to untab, you're going to untab that black part from there. And then it's going to go all the way up in here. And it's going to tab in there, be secure. And then you're going to flip this in do a 180. There you go. There's one arm. Let's do it again. Because why not? So you uh, take this black part right here, untab it from there. And there's a little tab right here that's sticking out, that little black part right there. It's going to go into up here. And that's going to. Flip that down right there, 180, and there you go. All right, moving on down to the feet. Close the uh, landing gear, take that, twist it around like this, like that. You're gonna take this part right here. There's a tab right here. It's gonna tab into this, like that. Move the feet down that sorry it's gonna be like this sorry all right one time one more time take this so it's gonna tab into that right there or this is gonna be have a hole and there's a tab right there and just gotta find the sweet spot there you go turn that around flip down the feet and there you go oh yeah he is a headmaster so head on there you go, put his head on, and he is transformed. Awesome, it's awesome. And that's how you transform him into bot mode. All right, so he puts his, he put his guns in. They just fit fine. Well, I thought they did. <laughs> there you go. He does have two. So he has a port right there. A port right there, too, so you can put guns in there if you want to. However you want to, you can put battle masters or anything like that. He does have holes right there in the chest, so you can... Put some blow-up effects or something in there, and he does have a little porch right here. 
You put that uh, like that. So it's like sand barrier. He has those ones that came with that. You can put them right there. Be pretty cool. All right, let's take this off. And that's how you put his guns in. So let's take a look at articulation. Look at his head sculpt real quick. I showed you already. Nice purple for the mouth. And you got some nice pink eyes. So he does side to side. A little give up and eh, it pops out. So be careful. Down, not much really. It's on a ball joint for his head, you know, everything, but side to side. So not much on the head movement, but there you go. All the way up to there. Really nice. I like how it's got some sculpted work in there. That's pretty cool. You go all the way around. You have to manipulate it or maneuver it around that, that area right there. Um, not a 90 degree uh, elbow bend. This part gets in the way, but he does have a bicep swivel. And nothing for the hands, really. So that's, that's a shame, but there you go. Uh, waist swivel, very nicely done. You can van down, kick up, uh, kick back. He does have, I love the Decepticon symbols, it's really nice. Uh, some sculpted work in the chest and area and the abdomen area. Uh, up, yeah, so uh, thigh swivel, once again, nice uh, sculpted work. No paint, would have been cool if they would have painted some stuff down his legs. Got that translucent yellow like that. Um, 90 degree for the knee bend and uh, toe tilt up and he does have a rocker so not bad and he cleans up pretty good in the back a little hollowness right there but not too bad I've seen worse you can put some add on some stuff right there so there you go that is the sculpt work and the uh, articulation for snapdragon Ooh. and there he is with his brother from another mother a face they always go together. Triple changers and headmasters. Didn't really like this guy a lot. He's fine. But I do like Snapdragon. Spoilers. So there you go. There they are together. Reunited and it feels so good. And there he is next to a leader class and a deluxe figure. He is a Voyager scale. I forgot to say that at the beginning. But yeah, there he is in scale mode. All right. Carbogonics, a bottle of water, some crappy toilet paper, and squeaks for scale. Dull. So, let's talk about some Earthrise War for Cybertron Snapdragon. Also known as a triple changer and a headmaster. He's got it all. And he really does. I really like him. He's really fun. Uh, transformation's real easy. Shouldn't take that long to figure it out. And it, it was fun. I really had a good time transforming everything back and forth to all three modes and everything. So, really nicely done with that. And the articulation, pretty good. It's got the waist swivel. The head boom is a little lacking everything just because of the, you know, the headmaster thing gimmick and with the ball joint and everything. So it's kind of lacking there, but it does have a nice rocker and does have a toe tilt up and everything. So you can get him some good poses and everything. I had a great time taking pictures with him. The paint, eh, you know, it's pretty good where it's at. Um, it's lacking in some areas, especially there's a lot, especially in bot mode, there's a lot of black plastic all the way down. Kind of wish they broke it up with some, you know, paint or things. So it could use some more paint, but where it's at, it's put on pretty good. I really, I love the Decepticon symbols really nicely done right there. Um, uh, sculpt work is, got, is good. I love when you lift up the arms. Got that, you know, under armpits. Got that little de uh, detailed sculpt work under there. That's pretty cool. Most of the time they wouldn't have done that. And in ship mode, they even paint the little, you know, the gadgets, you know, the uh, uh, things, uh, you know, in the cockpit and everything. That's pretty cool too. So I didn't have to really do that, but they did. They took an extra step. I really like that. And like the playability, you know, you got the blast effects or anything. You have a good time with it. Overall, I really like it. It's a nice, fun Transformer Earthrise. Once again, put out a good product. Really good. And you know what else is fun to do? Let's get on the floor and do some floor time. Why don't you join me? Be my neighbor. All right, all right, all right. So yeah, once again, Earthrise, you put out a great product. I really like this guy. Um, a lot better than 8-Face. You know, I didn't really like the 8-Face that much. After messing around with it a little bit, it gets a little better. But this guy does really good. I thought, you know, there's a little thing right here across there. I thought maybe the chest opened up to uh, show the stats or anything. But I don't think to. I tried to get it open, but it wouldn't open. Hit me up if you do, if you have been able to open that. But I wouldn't let me open that or anything. I think that's painted too. I might be wrong on the paint. That might be purple paint. Very nice. Hmm. I like the turquoise. The colors mesh, you know, mesh well. Mesh well. You know, the purple, black, and the turquoise, and you got some uh, white and yellow. So very nicely done. I'll take that back on the paint. I was wrong about the paint. It's painted pretty good. All right, fellas. How y'all doing? Well, look. Um, chickens. I guess he's tired of seeing his dad and everything. Alpha Bravo's drunk, as always. Are you gonna stand up? You wanna kick the baby? Kick the baby! Oh. What's up everybody? I'm Snapdragon. Y'all saw my buddy Ape Face a couple months ago. What'd y'all think? Yeah, he's fine. 
Well, yeah, he's always been the ugly one. Snapdragon, yeah, rules. Two, 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 two. All right, didn't have much for floor time with him. Uh, the the arms, you know, these little things right here, they, yeah, I mean, they get in the way a little bit once in a while for articulation, but it's not too terrible. They don't get in the way that bad. Overall, it's a great figure. I think it's fun. Nice, you know, I think it's great. I think it's a great pickup if anybody wants to get him. I think you won't be, yeah, I think you will be satisfied when you get this guy. All right, hit me up with some likes, shares, prayers, and care bears. Go ahead and hit that sub button for me if you don't mind. Uh, hit me up with some comments. Tell me what you thought of the review. And I guess I'll see you on the next uh, Earthrise Transform review. And as always, be good to yourself. Hell has bro. And good night, folks. Grr. Pew, 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 pew. Pew.